Okay, part two of my addiction recovery journey. I don't know what it is. I don't know. You decide what you think. So anyway, so I had been taking pain pills for about 10 to 11 years. Um, those prescriptions that I said in the last one were given towards the end. Well, then my husband um, is an ex-supercross racer, and he broke his back 21 times. I mean, he's got his collarbone sticking out, and so he was also on pain meds too. So um, we were both kind of, you know, in trouble together. And for some reason, we stayed together for, we've been together 11 years now. So it can, you can stay together, but it's very hard, very hard. Um, so five years ago, he got on um, Suboxone, buprenorphine, and I was too scared because I saw the withdrawal he went through. And oh my heck, it was brutal. Um, seizures. Um, he broke his nose on the bathroom floor by having a seizure. Um, he was in bed for four days. He had so much stuff coming out of his pores and stuff. It was like a milky thing with the withdrawal to get off of it because you have to stop taking the pills for 12 to 15 hours, which to some people it's like, ah, oh, just go to bed, wake up, you'll be fine. Mm -mm. It was horrid. So I was scared to death. So I went two years not doing it. I refused to go on the Suboxone. Um, I tried to hide the pills from him because it's like you're living with an addict. You know, you can't be waving it in front of his face. You know, you, it was really, really hard. Um, he did relapse once, but then got back on the buprenorphine, Suboxone. Um, they're kind of the same thing. So it was good, but we are still fighting to this day. Um, three and a half years ago, I think, I um, went on the buprenorphine, and I'm on it now, thank heavens. Um, I went in for a um, cool sculpturing um, appointment because I want to get, I've lost 60 pounds, so I want to get my fat removed off my stomach, like under there. But they said I've lost too much weight, so they want to do like a liposuction type of thing. Um, but I refuse to do it because I can't be in pain because I know I can't be on a pain pill, which is really scary for the rest of our lives. Because if we break a bone, if we get into a car accident, um, it's terrifying. So if you're thinking of doing stuff, don't because it affects the rest of your whole entire life. So I will start doing videos tomorrow about the effect it had on my children because then they became addicts too.